Welcome to the testing word. So in this session, we are going to cover recording using JMeter plugin. So we are going to use this JMeter plugin, which is installed on the Firefox browser. So these are the steps that we need to perform. So first of all, you must have Firefox browser on your system. So I'm taking as a prerequisite, like you must install the Firefox browser. I already have the Firefox browser, so we can move to the next step. Second step is that we need to install Selenium IDE plugin. So I'm moving to my browser, it's a Firefox browser, and just going to the Google. Through Google, I'm going to install Selenium IDE plugin. So here I'm on a Google, I'm just writing download Selenium IDE. And here just this is the first link for the Selenium HQ.org. So I'm going to this link. This is a plugin on the Firefox browser. So at the yeah. So here we have the Selenium IDE. We can download it from the add-ons.mozilla.org. So I just click on this link. Here we have the option of the add to Firefox. So I click on this. It's going to install this plugin. Once it is done, click on this install button and it is asking for restart the browser. So I just restart the browser. So we have gone through two steps. First, we have Firefox browser and then we installed Selenium IDE plugin over there. So here, that's my plugin. If you click on this plugin, so that's my Selenium IDE window. I'm just closing it because as of now, we have performed only two steps. So I'm moving to the next step. In the third step, we need to install JMeter plugin. This JMeter plugin will be installed on the Selenium IDE plugin. So before installing the JMeter plugin, we must have Selenium IDE. Or I can say that this JMeter plugin is dependent on Selenium IDE plugin. So it's mandatory for us to install the Selenium IDE plugin first. I'm moving to my browser. And this time I want to install the JMeter plugin. So I'm going to the Google again. And here JMeter, I'm writing JMeter Firefox plugin. Here we are getting this option. So click on this option, add on for the Firefox. And we have the option to add to the Firefox. Click on this option, add installing. And now click on the install button just restart so now we have installed other plugin with, which is a jmeter plugin and everything is done means we have covered three steps hello friends we are offering our 25 plus video courses with lifetime access in dollar 200 if you are in india you can pay rupees 10000 for 25 courses these courses include SOAP UI for web service testing, REST API testing by using Java, REST API testing using SOAP UI, and then REST API testing using Postman, and also REST API testing using Python. We also have courses for Selenium, so Selenium with Python, Selenium with Java, Selenium with Ruby. We are also having courses for database testing using SQL, SQL and Unix for tester, Functional testing using QTP, which is UFT now. Performance testing using Loadrunner and JMeter. And road to big data testing. So BDD understanding with Cucumber, MySQL database. We also have courses for the scripting. So you can go for Python scripting for tester, Ruby scripting for tester. Also some test management tool like we can use Jira, ALM for purchasing our video courses with lifetime access at the discounted price. You can call us. 8743913121 you can whatsapp us on the same number as well you can mail us testing word india at the red gmail dot i'll show you how we can check jmeter plugin installed successfully or not 
So we can go here on the Selenium IDE window and on the right hand side you are getting this option. So if you are getting this option means plugin is installed successfully on the Selenium IDE. So here we have covered three steps, Firefox browser setup, then Selenium IDE plugin setup and Jmeter plugin setup. We are going to cover how we can record script by using this Jmeter plugin and also how we can open and execute that recorded script in the Jmeter. We can record a script by using that plugin and after the recording we can save it and open it in Jmeter and then execute. So last two steps we are going to cover here. So now we are going to cover these last two steps. I'm moving to my browser. So that's my application on which I'm going to perform recording. So that is www.thetestingworld.com and here I'm coming to my Selenium IDE. So that's my Selenium IDE. Before start recording, we need to perform few settings over here. So we need to go to the option and Jmeter options. So here in the Jmeter options, we are going to get this includes. Here in the includes, we need to write a URL of the website or the web application on which we want to perform some tasks. Or we can say we want to perform recording. So I'm just going over here and that's the URL. So we are writing, we are not writing www, we are just writing a URL after that. Once it is done, just close it. Now I'm coming to my Selenium IDE. So now we are ready to perform recording. My recording in the Selenium IDE is already started. Just click on this R. So means we have started the recording of the Jmeter as well. Now perform whatever the steps you want to perform. So like I'm going to the tutorials, Jmeter section. And so that's the first link I'm hitting. And now we can perform the different actions. Like I'm going to the elements in Jmeter. And once this page will be open, we can go to the different link. So whatever the task, whatever the actions you want to record, you can record it. I'm going to the timers. Then I'm going to assertions. So that's my option of the assertions. So whatever the task you want to perform, we are recording over here. Once it is done, I'm moving to my Selenium IDE again. That is recorded. Just stop the recording. So here I have recorded, stop the recording of Selenium IDE. Always the best practice is that before converting this recorded script into the JMX format, we must run it. So we must verify the recorded script is working fine or not. So I'm just running it. And once the execution is completed, so, so here we can see all the steps are executed successfully. So means now we are ready to save our script into the JMX format. So go to this R option and click again. Here it is asked for where do you want to save your script? I'm saving into my desktop and whatever the name you want to give. So I'm giving like testing word scenario one. And here we can see the format is JMX. So I'm just saving it. Once it is saved, you can check it over here. So I check it like that's my JMX, which is created. Now we have covered step number four. So we have recorded our script by using Jmeter plugin. Now we can open the script in the Jmeter and execute. So we already installed Jmeter. I'm just going to the bin and I'm running by using Jmeter.batch file. So I'm just running it. Uh, my Jmeter is started. So that's my Jmeter. I want to open that script. So I'm going to the file, open, and that script exists on my desktop. So I'm going to my desktop. That's my script. 
I'm just opening it. So here it shows all the steps which we have recorded and these are the requests that is going to the server while the recording. So that's my script and to execute that even we can execute it directly but if you want you can add few listener one listener we are already getting which is view result tree if you want to increase your load like as of now we have only one user you can make it loop count so as of now i'm just running it default i'm just going to run button and here on the view result tree listener we'll see what all the response we are getting so here whatever the request which is going to the server we, we can view it over here and that shows one user is running so this is all about how we can record a script by using jmeter plugin and once the recording is done we can save it we can open it into the jmeter whatever the changes you want to make you can add few more listeners you can add assertions or whatever the changes you want to make we can do it over here and then execution so here we have seen all the steps how we can go for recording by using plugin and how we can execute that in the session we have covered this complete recording process that's all we have thanks for watching this video hello all hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions regarding this video please ask in the comment section and also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200 find us on facebook for more offers and updates here is the url facebook.com testing word india